What is a slut? Well, isn't a slut a person who has sex a lot? I thought a slut is a person who wears really revealing clothing. I thought a slut was just a dirty person. So, what is a slut? You wake up, put makeup on, stare in the mirror, but it's clear that you can't face what's wrong. No need to fix what God already put his paint. Ooh, get him code. <coughs> hey guys, it's me. And I thought that I'd do a video on this because, I don't know, I just like, the videos are just flowing out of me right now. So I'm just going to be making a whole bunch of them. So if you see me wearing in like four or five videos because like they're literally like flowing out of me right now. So I'm going to be making them while they're, my, they're so fresh in my brain. So fresh in my brain. So I decided to talk about some, some, some things and stuff. What is a slut? So... A little bit of a story time right here. There has been an incident in my school where two people have been caught having intercourse in the bathroom. Yeah. Okay. So my friend, she said, that girl, she, she is such a slut. How could she have sex with a guy in the bathroom? And then turns right around and says, man, that guy has sex with a girl in the bathroom. He's a savage. What is this double standard? You call the girl a slut, but turn right around and call the guy a savage? How is she a slut and he's a savage? Either they're both sluts or they're both savages. That's how I see it. I, like, one can't be one, the other can't be the other. She is a slut because she is a female. You know, she's supposed to be ladylike and never, never, girls are never supposed to talk about sex. You know, we're not supposed to be like sexually open or okay with our sexual identity. And guys, they are like when when you have sex, like you're you're a man and you do it in school. I mean, you're the you're a savage. I don't get that. I don't I don't really get that at all. And another thing I want to talk about that's kind of like plays into that is another friend of mine. I tend to wear a little bit of revealing clothes. I I, I like my body. Is that a crime now? Hmm? Is that a crime? I I like my body. Okay, I work it out. Okay, I keep it healthy. Okay. And I just like, I like to show it off a little bit. And if I want to walk to school with a little bit of my belly showing, I don't, is that making me a slut? Cause I, I sat there, okay? I stood up, my shirt was, I demonstrate. I'm wearing boxes by the way, yeah, I got them good. I was like this, and my shirt was a little bit up like this, okay? And I tend to wear shirts cause it's hot outside. And I'm just standing there, and he said, one of my friends, he said, why are you always dressing like that? You're always showing your body. Don't you respect yourself? I don't remember saying that I don't respect myself. Just because I wear a little bit of revealing, this gonna show my stomach this much. Does that not mean I respect myself? I respect myself a lot. I love myself, I respect myself, okay? And you telling me because I wanna show my legs or show my stomach or my arms or my shoulders or a little bit of cleavage that I don't respect myself. Respect has nothing to do with what I wear. I wear this because I like it. And then he proceeds to say, well, who are you trying to impress? Me? I don't wear these clothes for for them, for people. I don't do, I don't flick the brow and, and make this wing sharp enough to stab a man for them. I don't do it for anybody. Like, like a person's gonna really notice how flicky my eyebrows are. Like a, like a, like a person's gonna notice these new pair of Jimmy Choo's I'm wearing. Like, no, okay? I wear this because when I look in a mirror, I wanna be like, yes. I want to be like, yes, Gaga, yes, and I do. And when I wear a little bit of like extravagant, you know, skirts and stuff, everybody thinks I'm doing it for somebody. How is that? You know what I mean? It's just like, I'm I'm doing this for me, not for you. Has nothing to do with you. Another thing I like to touch upon, they just mad because I get the mightiest touch. You love her and you gotta get a one. Okay, that's not the point. Okay. Another thing I would like to touch upon is the the school dress code, you know, I get it. Like, don't walk in wearing nothing. Like, we get that, okay? We're not gonna walk in with a bikini or a birthday suit. But it's all these things that don't make any sense. Like, don't show your shoulders or your stomach or your legs. Like, there's shoulders, okay? 
they're, sh they're literally shoulders. Girls are not allowed to show their show their shoulders, which doesn't make any sense. I'm not aware. I'm not allowed to wear a shirt like this. It's literally it's a it's literally a tank top. This is the most sexiest thing that I've ever wore. You think so too, right? Like just seeing me in this 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 tank top is just making you hot right now, right? No, it's not. A, duh, because it's a literal tank top. You see everybody wearing them because. It's a tank top, okay? I walked into school, you know, it was very hot. It was like 79 degrees outside. So I proceeded to walk in. Walk, walk, this is me walking in, okay? I proceeded to go up the stairs and pass the assistant principal. As I was walking up the stairs, he said, cover up that belly, I don't wanna see any skin. But, but it's hot outside. And then he wants me to wear sweaters and jeans, but it's hot outside. Cover it up, by, oh, all the boys, they won't be able to pay attention in class. No, not the stomach. Uh, we didn't know people, women, girls had bellies. It's a little, it's a stomach, okay? It's not gonna, it's stomach, it's a stomach. It's not gonna, it's, it's a stomach, okay? It's a stomach. Not gonna distract anybody. My shoulders are not gonna distract anybody. My my stomach's not gonna distract anybody. My legs are not gonna distract anybody. It's just hot outside. Okay, we're not doing this because we want to notice boys. We want boys to notice us, but you can. Like you want to do that, like good for you. But I don't. I'm doing this because it's hot outside. Okay, it's 90 degrees outside, and I want to wear shorts. And I should be able to wear shorts without being called a slut. Okay. <sighs> Being told I'm doing this for a boy, okay? I want to be able to flip the brow without somebody telling me who you looking good for? Me! I'm looking good for me! <sighs> this is not for- this is not for Jacob, okay? This is for me! I don't- I don't put the- I don't wing- I don't wing for Jacob, okay? I don't flip the brow for Jacob, okay? Okay, I don't contour for Jacob, okay? I don't do my hair for Jacob. I don't dress for Jacob. I don't do nothing for nobody. This is for me. So like that's all I wanted to talk about in this video. Just wanted to touch upon that little subject right there. I just don't get people anymore. I guess, I guess I'm, I'm just like I'm, I guess I guess just kind of think differently than people. I just think people should be able to wear and do whatever they want without, without being told they're a slut or that they're dressing up for somebody. Why can't I just do this for me? Why can't I want to look good for me? Does it have to be for somebody? Why can't I just wear a little bit of revealing clothes without being called slut? Maybe, maybe revealing my body makes me feel good. Maybe I just have a insy bit of confidence with my body and people hate that, but I do. And I will proceed to wear what I want, what I want. <laughs> and I will proceed not to care what people think. I proceed to flick the brow and do my makeup perfectly without, without doing it for anybody. And that's just it. So I hope you guys like this video and I hope you guys have a thousand years of fleeked brows. A thousand years of fleeked brows. Woo. So I will see you guys later. Uh. All that you got's gonna skin